On January 10th, 2005, I was seriously wounded by a roadside bomb. When I first became conscious, I was on all these IV, IV opiates, you know, really heavy duty, straight into the veins kind of drugs. And I remember asking one of my doctors, I said, Doc, you know, am I gonna become addicted to these drugs? And he said, he said, don't worry about it. He said, everybody becomes addicted. He said, we'll deal with that later. What we need to deal with now is your pain. For six or seven months, I was on IV, well, probably five months I was on IV opiates, and then I switched over to oral opiates. Sometimes on a, they have these things called fentanyl pops. That's like a little lollipop that has sweeteners, but also has fentanyl. And so I was on these, all these drugs for a long time. And then at some point, my, you know, my wounds were healed and my bones, my, all the bones had sat and everything. And, and it was like, you know, I probably don't need to be on this level of drugs anymore. And so I went from, from a pain dose to like a maintenance dose. And they gave me this drug called methadone, which is what is famously given to like heroin addicts to keep their, to keep their cravings down. And so they gave me methadone and, and I was on like, let's say, I don't know what the exact dosage, but let's say 25 milligrams of methadone. And then I went from 25 to 20 and it was no problem. And I went from 20 to 15, it was no problem. And 15 to 10, and it, this is over a period of weeks, 15 to 10, no problem. And then on, on the 4th of July weekend of 2005, I went from five to zero. And five to zero was a big problem. But at night, my skin would crawl and I'd feel like spiders were coming out of my arms and I'd be sweating and thrashing around. And this went on, you know, every night for a period of like four or five nights while I was getting off of that last little piece of opiates. So one of the things that I think we, we, we as a society really need to deal with, and government can do this, is we need to talk about overprescription of opiates. And the nice thing about opiates is that if you have pain, even, you know, even really severe pain, opiates will definitely take it off the edge and make that pain go away. That's the nice part. The downside is that there's a cost, and the cost is heavy because after just a few doses of opiates, you can get really addicted to those things. And so one thing that the medical profession needs to do, and this is something that government can require and government can assist with, is really working on how do we, how do we figure out how much opiates are okay, how do we figure out who should get them, when they should get them, what the doses, dosages are, and then how should we prescribe opiates that are um, less prone to abuse? So the idea of having drugs that you can crush and snort, for example, that's really bad because those are drugs that are, that are prone to abuse. And so the medical profession itself needs to do better. But the government does so much inside of the medical profession anyway, on the military side, on the VA side, on, on other kinds of, of programs that spend for, for health care, that we definitely can work on that overprescription issue. Another thing that we need to work on is, is making sure that our treatment clinics for opiate abuse are fully funded and counseling and even methadone clinics, that those things are fully funded to get people off of dangerous street drugs and to help them uh, wean off of, of the, most, the most dangerous opiates so that we can get over this scourge that's crushing our especially rural communities um, but also, you know, also suburban, you know, if you're just because you're a suburban person living in a suburban area doesn't mean you're immune to this. And children and families are, are getting destroyed by opiate overprescription and opiate abuse. When people are looking at our opiate crisis, instead of looking at it as like, oh, those bad people who are, you know, forget them, they're, they're dumb for doing opiates anyway, so often What's really happening is people are getting on these drugs because they have a serious injury or because the doctor is over prescribing medication and then they get hooked. And then the wounds heal or the injuries heal but, but nobody bothers to help them get off of the opiates and they don't, maybe they don't have the family structure or they, whatever, and it causes people, the real people are suffering and then what do they do? They go to, they go to illicit pills and then they go to Maybe they go to IV, like heroin or something like that. And that's why we, we're losing so many Americans. These are not bad people. These are people who got caught in a bad situation because these drugs are really, really hard to get off of. And as a society, we need to do better about this. And this is not Republicans, Democrats, you know, in, it, it's not a Republican-Democrat issue. 
It's an American issue and we're losing more people to opiates every year than we are to, certainly than we are to guns, definitely more than we are to, um, to car accidents. And so, so we need to get our hands on this issue and I've, it's gonna be one of my leading issues. I really care deeply about this because of my own experience with opiates.